PowerPoint can help you quickly and easily produce polished and effective presentations for use in class or online, as long as the program is used properly. This video will outline some PowerPoint best practices that will streamline the production and dissemination of your presentations. Content Organization The content of your presentation should be organized in a clear and intuitive way. Help your students learn key concepts by placing emphasis on important points and ideas, and make use of bullets and numbered lists whenever appropriate. But be sure to create such lists using the Windows tools rather than simply using the tab key on your keyboard. This makes your presentation accessible to more students. Alternative text. Alternative text, or alt text, is a 5 to 15 word phrase used to describe each image, graphic, smart art, table, or chart in a presentation. Alt text is used to describe a graphic object to presentation viewers using screen readers or viewers unable to load the images. You should include alt text for any graphic object in your presentation. To add alt text to an image, right click on the image and click Format Picture from the drop down menu. In the Format Picture toolbox, select Alt Text. Provide alternative text only in the description field. Click the close button. Note, logo images imply text. Any image that has text in it should have that text as the alternative text. You can place other words in the alternative text, but at a minimum it should say the same thing as the image. Here you see the recycling icon. It should also have alt text associated with it. Embedded charts should also be given a text description. Here this embedded chart that you see before you should have a text description within the context of the document itself. The data that is used to create the chart will be accessible only in the original file, but will not be included in a PDF version. Be sure to check out our other videos in the Best Practices series. Sponsored by the University of Toronto Mississauga Library.